Hello YouTube, this is Bill from Read the Factory Manual and I'll be your tour guide for this three blind mice build. This is a Hot Wheels 1966 Chevy Nova and while searching the internet for inspiration for this little car I ran across this little highway patrol car of the same year. So instead of a highway patrol car I thought what the heck let's make a three blind mice patrol car. So, without further ado, let's get started. Disassembly of any Hot Wheels car is pretty straightforward. First thing you do is you find the right drill bit. Slowly drill out the mushroom portion of the stud. Pry the base off, being careful not to bend the wheels. Pull out the interior, the glass, and now you have a Hot Wheels car ready for customization or restoration or whatever the heck you want to do to it. Let's go ahead and throw this car into the caustic soda solution. Using boiling hot water we get a pretty violent reaction with the caustic soda and the hot water. You can see it makes pretty quick work of removing the tampos and the paint from this casting. In about 10 minutes it's ready to be rinsed off and cleaned off. It amazes me how much corrosion is left on the model after running it through the caustic soda. But I guess it shouldn't amaze me with how violent the reaction is once we clean the model. I used a Dremel to make quick work of cleaning off all of the corrosion using a wire brush attachment. I switch over to the brass brush to give it a final once over. I then break out a file and start cleaning up some of the imperfections. 500 grit sandpaper is next, followed by 1000 grit sandpaper to give the model a nice finish to accept paint. After priming the casting with gray primer, it's time to paint the doors and the roof white. I'm using Vallejo premium airbrush color this time to see how it comes out. After a few coats, it seems to come out just Next is the part that always gives me trouble, masking. I can never seem to get the masking right. It always seems to leak where the mask starts and ends. Hopefully this time I'll get it right and it will be wonderful. I'm trying out a new masking tape and let's see what happens. I mask all of the parts that are to remain white so that I can paint the rest of the car black. Back to the paint booth we go to give the car a nice coating of flat black Vallejo acrylic paint. Painting in stop motion is a lot harder than it looks and it's a lot harder to get the coverage just right. So after painting the first coat I go ahead and paint the second and third coats with the traditional method of spraying. We have finally made it to assembly of this great model. I haven't added the stickers or done the detail painting yet. I'm going to do that after I assemble it. I find it much easier to handle the car and to put in the details after it's assembled. After inserting the glass, the interior, and putting the base back on, I went ahead and used some M2 washers and M2 button head screws to screw the base back on to the casting. Now it's time to take a look at the model and start adding some of the details to the car. We'll start with the door handles and then the locks. And now we'll add the stickers to the car. What good is a cat patrol car if you don't know it's a three blind mice cat patrol car. After adding on the gumball machine, it's time to take this great car for a drive. Creating this video was a heck of a lot of work. Would I do it again? Yeah, I would do it again. In fact, I've got another one in the queue ready to go. But please let me know if you like this video format and if you like this narration after the fact. The hardest part for me on this whole 
adventure was the narration at the end. I find it a lot easier to narrate as I build. But let me know what you like, and we'll see about getting that done as well. If you really liked it, let your friends know and subscribe. If you only liked it a little bit, well then hit the thumbs up button. If you already subscribed and you loved it, hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment. If you didn't like it, I don't know why you're this far into the video, but hit that thumbs down button twice. Thank you for watching Read the Factory Manual. I hope you have a great rest of your day.